Hi there, I'm Robin here with Zen Audio and you've just witnessed Zen Audio's panic mode in action. Now, what is the panic mode? The panic mode is an escape tool um, for if you're in the middle of a loop and you make a mistake or it's just a bit sloppy or maybe the lights from the stage get in your eyes and you don't play the solo quite right, you can press a pedal or a button on your MIDI controller and instantly a pre-recorded clip that you recorded in the studio uh, is now instantly inserted into the currently recording loop. I'm just going to play back this footage again just so you can see exactly what's happening. So I begin, I get into the first guitar riff. It's kind of a bit sloppy, so bam, there's the uh, panic mode. And the same again with the next one, so bam, there I've pressed it again and now we've got a perfectly sounding piece of music and the audience is none the wiser. The reason that uh, with Zen Audio we do it this way is we thought that the options with hardware loopers were not really substantial. You've generally got one of two options. You either stick with the badly recorded part, which is going to loop for the rest of the song, or you press the undo button and then you have to go around and give it another try. And I think with both ways, it's quite clear to the audience that you've made a mistake. We just wanted to provide a solution that makes your mistakes a, a bit more invisible to the audience and doesn't hinder the rest of the song. Okay, so I've got rid of the panic track right there, and I'm, I'm going to show you from start to finish how to set this up. So imagine you're in the studio and you've um, you've got a really good sounding take there, and you want to use this take for the panic mode. So press AA, and that selects everything in the session, and then you go to the song menu and choose set reference clips. Now this will set all the record loops clips to the reference clips, which will then be triggered during the panic mode. And reference clips are also really handy, for example, um, if you're songwriting in ALK and you want to save the parts that, that you've written, but also be able to rehearse it a little bit and practice the looping arrangement. That way you'll always have saved um, the version that you wrote. Okay, so once we've got all of our reference clips set, we're going to need to make a command track. Uh, I'm going to go to the plus icon here and create a command track. Okay, so here's my command track. And the next thing we're going to want to do is go into the track and we're going to need to learn either a pedal or a button on your MIDI controller. And we've now learnt um, which button we'd like to use to trigger the panic mode. Now the next thing we're going to need is um, a captured command region. And you can get this by holding down command and then drawing a region. And you're going to want to draw it as long as you want to perform and use the panic mode. And then once we've got the region, we set the target to transport and then panic. And you can see that this region is now targeting the panic and when you trigger it, um, it's going to play the panic clips. And there you go, that's a way to get out of those sticky situations mid-gig. And you don't have to go around and play it again. Um, you don't have to live with the mistake for the rest of the song, which you know, I feel like these are two of the really big flaws in hardware loopers, that the mistakes just become really obvious. When you're playing in a live band as a guitarist, you can kind of mess around a little bit and, and make mistakes and then just carry on. But with looping arrangements, it gets a lot more tricky. And I think that this is the most smooth way of getting out of those situations. Okay, thanks a lot. Hope that was helpful and we'll see you next time.